So Demon Slayer was definitely one of my top two, top three choices for what I was really excited for for the spring 2019 anime season. When you have Ufotable coming back for another action series, but it wasn't just that they were adapting another Type Moon property or just some generic kind of action series, but actually one that had a pretty respected source material. I was quite excited as when Ufotable has good source materials to work with, they deliver really impressive products both at a written level, but also at a production level because their way of using 3D and 2D in this very fluid way always is gripping and they really do push the boundaries of what television anime can look like. And walking out of the first episode of Demon Slayer, I have to say I'm impressed and I am so ready for more. This first episode was everything that I think you need to do to get the viewer invested on what they're going to expect in the coming episodes. I know a lot of people are going to rave and really focus on the visuals, which I will touch on, but that's not what really gripped me and really sold me on this product. It was how human the main character was. Typically with this setting, as this story, you can kind of look at like a very surface level and say, okay, I've seen vampire series such as these before. I've seen stories in this vein done before, but it's not really about the overall premise and how original it is. And we still are just in the intro stages. This could be a completely original and fresh take, but in terms of its intro episode, there is a series that you could compare it to. But what really sets it apart is that you don't need to have the most unique premise to kind of really sell someone. It's how you take that idea that people may have seen done before, but how do you make it your own and I think the main character to this series is what made it so enjoyable for me because you have a world with demons you know at night demons roam the forests and towns and they can even break into buildings and kill people if you have open wounds and their blood touches yours you can become a demon and you probably think to yourself okay yeah that sounds fun but what's so exciting about it and like with pretty much any story like this where you have someone who is going to be introduced to demons, most of his family was killed. The episode starts off with essentially him just wandering in this frozen woods with very unconscious and bloodied up sister, and you think, where is this going to go? And then it goes right into very peaceful, happy family fun times. And what I love is how this is some of the most human interactions I've seen in a series like this, where a character discovers what's happened to his family, and it was gory. I was actually expecting some TV censorship, like I thought they were going to Black Bar or something. It was brutal. They were massacred. This entire family, it was gory, it was brutal, and how broken this character felt was a nice change of pace. It, like a lot of times I feel like anime, they don't get it right in terms of that raw emotion of just despair, and I thought they handled it perfectly and when you see that one of your family members is still warm of course your first thought is going to be to you know maybe you're still going to cry but you're going to run and find help so at least this person could live it was such a nice and natural and human interaction to see after such a bloody scene immediately try to save at least your sister and then there's this moment where we learn that of course you know she's not actually fully dead she turned into a demon she's trying to eat our main character and then we have a demon slayer when scenes like these pop up i expect okay he's going to fight for his sister his life he's gonna fail and he's gonna be like okay you gotta train to be better he just begs he begs for her life because he can't lose the last living family that he has he can't lose the one person who didn't get killed please do not kill her and i love that i love how we have such human interactions with this character loses his family freaks out is so tormented by what he's seeing immediate thought one still alive get her to safety as he's crying through this forest when he sees someone who is this damn powerful who he knows he can't defeat he begs for her life that is the most human way to go about that scene and i love how this episode functioned how it felt so human and natural and then you have this demon slayer who essentially is just kind of like trying to make it so he'll fight back and prove can he actually take care of her because his job is to kill demons is there an actual way that he could trust in this kid to be able to protect her like this isn't his first rodeo he knows that when someone turns into a demon they are a ticking time bomb they will feast no matter if it's their family or someone they love if they are hungry if they are starving they will attack and they will pounce and i love how he's trying to just like edge him on be like you have to fight back in his head he knows like if he's gonna trust this kid to be able to protect her and not let her attack others he has to see the determination and will of not someone who's going to grovel and beg for her life but fight back and protect her and i love how they direct this scene to feel so hopeless for this character and then you see his creativity of how he'll throw his hatchet in the air at the same time he throws a rock and then he'll keep his arms behind him as he's charging against this man so it looks like he still has it and the hatchet just misses him 
by literally like an inch. It's nice to see how human it felt, but also highlight his creativity in a battle that if he can get strong, he'll be a damn impressive soldier. And I think that's what makes this episode so interesting is of course it looks gorgeous, but the creativity to just his first real fight without even trying to fight, but just try to keep the one that he cares for safe, it was nice. It really makes you think, okay, this main character, not only is he human and not just a cliche that we've seen a thousand times over, he actually feels human. And as he gets stronger, I think we're going to see even more human interactions such as these. And I like how it kind of explored this world enough. So you have enough of an idea of how this world functions with demons and demon hunters, obviously, these demon slayers are incredibly skilled, they have insane agility and strength, and based on the fact that our main character somehow has this insane sense of smell, it wouldn't be surprising if he will be able to develop similar skills that these demon slayers do have. This episode kicks off with seeing such a horrible scene to then showing what his family life is like, and having the foreshadowing of there are demons out there and you know his family's gonna get killed, but you didn't know how far they were going to push it. And just seeing that raw human emotion with such gorgeous visual production, this series should be damn remarkable, especially because I've heard nothing but positivity that this is a series that does get better over time and really fleshes out. There's a lot of interesting mechanics at play that does turn this into something pretty unique. But in terms of like an intro episode where a lot of this you might be able to point out and say, oh, I've seen a series or I've read a series that's very similar to this, the way they explored the raw and human emotions from this character experiencing what's happened to his family, even though I've seen series that have done similar things such as this, it actually felt different and distinct and not something that I would actually compare to other series with a similar premise. And that's important. With a series that easily could just be, oh, you see Demon Slayer in the title, you think I've seen this before. But it was nice to see how they explored it and how it's kind of inspiring you to be like, I'm really excited to see where this character's journey is going to go because it's not like he just lost his entire family and he's going to rise up to be a demon slayer no it's he still has one left but she's honestly like a zombie right now it doesn't seem like she's showing emotion he basically has to keep her on a leash and see where that goes and to have that like unbreakable bond that no matter what happens to his family he's still going to stick by them i respect this character and i'm very excited to see his growth and where the characters will go where we see the cast grow and just ultimately like if he can actually find a demon who will work with him and reverse what's happened. You have enough idea of what's going on in this world, but also you have a really strong emotional connection to this main character and what's happened to him to make you want to follow his journey so he doesn't have to continue to suffer. The visuals did look goddamn amazing. Honestly, the character designs for most of the characters within this first episode feel completely unique. Not something that I'd be able to kind of point out and say, okay, yeah, this kind of feels familiar to this main character or this character from this other anime or even manga. It really felt like it had its unique and kind of its own style. Really, when you look at the main character and his sister, you don't really look at them and say, okay, this feels familiar to this series. For me, it was like, this is a completely unique character and it just helped sell this as a very unique universe, hyper-realistic detail to the backgrounds and just the amount of close-up shots we had in this episode. It was impressive to see how cleanly polished everything was and the way they were blending the 2D and 3D and just the camera work and perspective shifts, like it really made it feel fast, fluid, and real. Like this felt like some of Ufotable's best and this is only the first episode. And if they can keep this level of polish throughout this entire season, it's going to be one of their best looking anime hands down. I honestly think so. And I think Ufobo is a really impressive studio that they find new and interesting ways to polish up their series. And when they have a good source material to work with, you know they're going to just keep getting better with their visual production as long as they have a good schedule to work alongside with. I think this series is going to be one that a lot of people will enjoy. There's going to be a lot of setup. There's going to be a lot of character dialogue for sure. But I think with what it's trying to balance between action and actual character drama, I think this will be one of the best series of the season. The OST is already fire. The opening and ending songs, holy hell, some of the best I think we'll have in the season. The OST, the way it was creeping throughout the episode was nice. And the main character's voice acting, the raw emotion, not only was it in the writing, it was also his raw, pure emotion and just rage and sorrow and just, you felt bad for this guy. You wanted to give this man a hug and if you can get me caring this much about the main character of what I would look at at first glance and say, oh, it's an action anime, and feel like, no, this feels like a unique and real person, you know I'm going to love the remainder of this series. No questions asked. I know next to nothing about this source material other than I know a couple of people who have read it, a decent chunk of it said it's really good. 
and that if Ufotable adapts it properly, it should be one of the best anime of the season. I just knew that it would probably look good, and there was Demon Slayers. So that's pretty much all I knew going in. And walking out, I think there's going to be a whole world of possibilities. So many interesting little histories that we can explore, just world mechanics and just kind of character mechanics that we can explore, where we have like these hyper kind of superhuman characters, but also these demons, and how maybe you can actually form a relationship with the demon, even though they're being hunted. Like, there's probably a lot of things at play in terms of just characteristics and just overall history. Maybe they don't always need to kill demons. Maybe they do have their own culture. I think they have a lot that they can explore with. And I think the more we learn about like the factions and civilizations to this world, it's going to be pretty impressive because it really feels like there's an endless sea of possibilities as long as the series heads in the correct direction. And based on the first episode, I have no reason to doubt it won't head in a proper direction rather than pandering to cliche outcomes and just scenarios. Like this was an incredible first episode. I am dying to see more easily one of the best first episodes of the season so far and I know we just started the season but I think this will be one of the best first episodes easily I don't think there's going to be much competition in terms of first episodes of the spring 2019 season but hey maybe you didn't like it as much as me or maybe you read the source material and you felt like it just wasn't a good adaptation whatever you're feeling let me know down in that comment section below and remember to leave a like if you did enjoy this video and also hit that subscribe button if you're new around here but until next time everyone please take care and have a good one